Ready. Light is on. Set. Racing. Make your point, got away very fast. Rumour says was a bit slow, goes back to second last. Super Session is last. Kelvinator's running second as Make Your Point crosses over. And then Leniency going up on the outside doing the chasing now. About two lengths away, Potshot, who's on the inside of Azina. Two away is Rumour says back on the inside of Super Session. About six covers of field, 600 to go. Make Your Point in front. Leads by one and a quarter. Second is Leniency and third the inside is Kelvinator. Followed by Azina taken out a little bit wider as Potshot came away from the inside for Watson. Super Session travels into the race really well. Is about to get to the outside and Rumour says has a lot to do in the straight make your point about to be joined by leniency super sessions coming with a big run down the outside kelvin a to the inside and then came pot shot inside the 200 leniency had raced up to make your point with super session giving the chase very strongly leniency in front though holding super session at bay it's leniency in front and leniency has won from super session photo third pot shot flew might have grabbed make your point and rumor says was out wider working home well and then kelvin Ader at last home azina Number one is the winner, Leniency. Has held Super Session, who was looming large, but couldn't get past Leniency, who's a very good sprinter. And has done the job very well for Colin Webster and Troy Turner. Got into a dominant position outside the leader, make your point. Put that horse away at about the 250. Super Session was tracking up, got to the outside, started to put in the big strides, but Leniency found plenty under pressure. Of course, its last run was over 1,200, so it was always going to be very strong at the end of 1,000 metres. Super Session, pretty much given a perfect ride there by Lucy in defeat. And uh, third will go to number three, Potshot, right on the line, has grabbed Make Your Point. Potshot working off the fence at the 600 and has got to the line quite well in front of Make Your Point, getting a little tired late, but ran bravely, stepping up in class. And Rumour says, didn't jump that well, got to the outside late in the race and ran home quite resolutely for what was a more than acceptable first up performance, although quite a mo bit of money left in the bag. It was fairly heavily backed, 370 into $3.30. So leniency got right out to $4 in the end, open 3.30, bit of a drift stepping back in trip but once it got right up on speed that was the key and uh, super strong at the end of 200 at the end of the uh, thousand meters okay the uh, winner is uh, by sessions out of talk of angels a three-year-old brown gelding start that again it's by safeguard out of never guilty a favorite trick mare a three-year-old bay gelding owned by c forest d forest mrs j forest and mrs j a mitchell trained by Colin Webster. Let's uh, head downstairs because a legend of West Australian racing is about to be interviewed by Brittany Taylor, Colin Webster. Yes, Colin Webster with me now. Mr Webb, leniency, we were only speaking a fortnight ago when he was able to win first up. Back to 1,000 metres today. What were your views on the race coming into it? Yeah, well, we thought he had a good, really good chance today. We only ran him today to get ready for a 1,400 next Saturday. We didn't want to go three weeks without a run, so uh, today was just a warm up for next Saturday. Well, it's not a bad, is a West Speed Platinum horse as a three year old, it's an $80,000 warm up, it's not too bad. Exactly right, it's good money, isn't it? Very good money. Now, he's a very promising horse, but as I said last time, he's, uh, he's got a big future, this fellow, and um, he probably won't have too many starts this time in if we give him a bit of a chance, but I think there's a big race in him somewhere along the line. And what great scope that he has as well. Today's the first time you've ever started him over a thousand metres, which, if he's going to 1,400 next week, probably isn't his best trip, and yet he's just too good to get the job done. Well, Brittany, we wondered about him today because he was getting well too above himself. And a couple of weeks ago, he dropped Troy coming off the track and uh, he galloped down and crashed into the gate at the end of the race. So we were a bit worried about that. That's why we wanted to uh, make sure that uh, he, was, uh, he wasn't jumping out of his skin for next Saturday. So with that in mind, a seven day backup sounds like it's not going to bother him at all knowing his constitution. I'm sure it won't. He's a massive eater. You can't believe how much he eats and um, he recovers from a race like he hasn't even been in it.
forward to a report tomorrow to hear how he's pulled through, but it sounds like he won't even know he's gone round. He's a big boy, isn't he, as he's just come into this Winners' Bay? He's a big horse. He's a big horse, Brittany. Well, congratulations on the win. A nice $80,000 warm-up for next week. Hopefully he can do it again in uh, seven days' time. Thanks, Britt. Thanks. There is Colin Webster, and uh, leniency makes it... Two from two this campaign, and that's off the back of a couple wins at the end of last preparation as well. So that's becoming a really imposing record. Only one defeat in his five-start career now, and first time at 1,000 metres, Scott, and he's just too good. Exactly right. He's now a winner to 14. He's a winner at 1,000. He's a winner on a, uh, on a heavy track. He's a winner on top of the ground. He's a winner on a soft five here after race number one. Gee, it's, uh, he's, he's a very, very nice animal. He knows how to find the line. He's tough. He's versatile. Pretty much, Troy's got every attribute that you look for on a racehorse. Yeah, he has. He, um, he's trained on really well. He's sort of come through that run pretty good. And um, thought this, um, this race here probably do him good for going into his next run. 1,400 metres next week. It looks like it's pretty ominous for his rivals. Yeah, he's, um, you know, the horse just loves being in work. He's uh, always bouncing around. So, yeah, he had a couple of springs in his step last couple of days. So he was ready for it today. From a horse that knows how to win to one that's maybe forgotten how to win, can, to rise again be, can today be the day for him? Oh, for the owner's sake, hopefully he can, but um, he's always thereabouts, hopefully he can run in the money. And one more question, how's that track feel? Perfect. Yep. Congratulations. Combines with Colin Webster and leniency, takes out the opener, super session in for second, and make your point, runs fourth. That screen coming up uh, with different numbers, but one, two, three, and seven are the numbers.